Hey everyone, this is Meena Chantel and in this video, I'm going to talk about all the tips and tricks that I use to pass a CPA exam. Number one, have a plan. I think this is the most important step of passing the CPA exam. You need to have a plan. You need to know when you're taking the exam, in what, uh, what sections you are going to take and when you're studying. Having a plan does not mean you are rigid and you have to do that way. I just mean that when you have a plan, you know your path, you know what you're doing. As time go on, the plan's gonna change, it's gonna twist a little bit, but at least having a plan will help you and guide you towards passing the CPA exam. And um, while, um, for having a plan, I think it's the best idea to schedule your exam first. I know there are people who are gonna say, okay, let's study first and then have a feel about it and then I'm gonna study. And then when I feel like I'm ready, I'm gonna schedule the exam. But in my point of view, it's a good idea to schedule exam first because that way you are more committed and as time goes on, you'll be, you, you know when your exam is, so you are more motivated to study. Um, I might be wrong, but I feel like scheduling exam beforehand will uh, make you study more. And it also means that you should have a calendar by your side. So well, while I was studying, I used to have a calendar on my wall and then I would put the date of my exam and then I would cross each day every day after um, after the day is over and then I would write like I will study these things on that day and then as the day went on I will cross it I would be completely honest that there were times when I did not follow the exact same plan and there were times when I res rescheduled my exams as well but in most cases it, it helped me and it helped me to have a plan number two let your friends and family know that you're studying for the exam at first, when I was planning to sit for the CPA exam, I told myself that I won't tell anyone that I was studying for the exam. I would just study by myself so that if I fail, nobody gonna ask me anything about it. Fortunately, I did not fail the exam, but I think it's a good idea to let your family and friends know that you're studying for the exam because <clears throat> that way they can support you, they can help you, they can give your uh, give their ideas to you but even if they cannot do anything like that they can at least support you emotionally number three study consistently i cannot emphasize this i cannot emphasize this i don't find the right words but um, I think it's very important for you to study consistently. I would say that a person who studies two hours every day beats the person who studies eight hours a day and then doesn't open the book for another week. Or a person who studies like two hours a day and then four hours a day and then does not study at all and then opens the books again. Somebody said it, you will hear it often that people say CPA is not just a test of knowledge, it's a test of discipline as well. And it's so true, it's so true. There's like a lot of materials and most of the time you may find that it's easy, but because it's a lot of materials, you tend to forget what you study. So make a habit of studying every day, like make it two, two hours, three hours if you're studying full time uh, like study for study as if it's your full time job but make a habit of studying consistently number 4 technological resources um, you have your phone by your side your laptop by your side the internet and all you want to do is scroll the facebook see the instagram stories watch youtube videos and things like that but at this moment when you're studying for the CPA exam, that is your main goal. I mean, of course you can take a break 
chat with your friends and your family but if you sit down to study study like give it all your attention you can you can just turn off your phone or keep it on airplane mode and when you're watching the lecture just watch the lecture that you want to there are several uh, browsers that doesn't let you watch unnecessary things install it and do all just make sure that you use the resources very wisely that's the last tip practice a lot of multiple choice questions yep you may watch the whole lecture you may read the whole book but if you don't know how to solve the multiple choice questions it's gonna be so hard on you practice multiple choice questions as much as possible and make a very good note about it i mean if you practice the multiple choice questions and then you don't know how it got wrong or why is it wrong well there's no point of doing it anyway right so practice the multiple choice questions and make a very clear note the note should be very understandable to you i mean it, it it may make no sense to me but if it's helpful to you that's what matters and make a very clear note about it and that way when you when you solve a problem the first thing is it's going to help you uh, understand the concept and the second thing is that it's easier to learn that way than reading a whole bunch of books or watching the whole lectures and then at the end you forget about that um my last would my last thing would be i would like to say that the things that helped me pass the cp exam on my first try would be that i took the exam as soon as i graduated i think that helped a lot because you know like when i was studying for the exams there were multiple times when i could hear my professors teaching the lecture so maybe it's so i graduated on may 17 and then i took a day break i took i did not study at all on may 18 and on may 19 i was like studying for the cp exam and i think that helped a lot and the second thing that helped me was um quarantine yep i think a lot of bad things happened on 2020 and one of them was covid so due to covid we had to work from home and there were like we were not able to do much but be at home right but um i cannot control that but what i can control is how i react to that situation and i think um, i just use the situation to study more um, because of covid there hadn't been much plannings like you know there were hadn't been much gatherings and things like that and it kind of helped me as well because i did not have to cancel a lot of plans i did cancel out plans i did come home early or i did not i did not go to some of the events but over overall i did not have to cancel so much but what i was thinking was that i would cancel out everything if i had to but fortunately i did not have to cancel much i mean it would have been harder for me but um i did not have to and because i was working from home i had a lot of more time than working on the site or going to client site and things like that i hope these things help you and if it helped me please let me know by comment and sharing okay i would say this whenever i used to watch people's video and then at the end they would say please comment my video subscribe it like it i thought maybe they are just saying it but no they mean it i mean it Please do comment, like, and share my video. Thank you.